Hey Rebel Buddies! Welcome to my 2011 Project for Awesome video. Now, if you've never heard of Project for Awesome before, it's this day every year where YouTubers get together to make videos talking about various charities, and I decided this year that I'd like to get involved as well. So, the charity I'm talking about in this video is called Holt International. I've been supporting this charity for about two years, so I feel like I have a pretty good idea on what it's all about. Now, Holt International has so many different areas. It deals with parents who are wanting to adopt children, it deals with children who are in orphanages, children who maybe are going to be reunited with their families but they're at the orphanage right now until their family becomes more stable, um, children who are unable to be adopted, or children who are in the process waiting to be adopted but they just haven't found that right family for them yet. Now I'm going to be talking about one area of Holt International and that is their child sponsorship program. Now with this program you get a child of your very own and for $30 a month or $1 a day the money that you donate to this child goes towards their food and their clothing and their shelter and their medical attention and in some cases even schooling and it goes towards helping this child's basic needs. Now I actually support two sponsor children. The first sponsor child I support is with my boyfriend. We've had him for about two years and his name is Thean. He's from Thailand. And another child that I support's name is Snahal. She's from India and she's about 12 or 13 years old. Now with this other child, what we do is the youth group that I help co-teach, um, we have the youth children help out with this child. So what we do is we bring this box to youth group every week and all the youth there bring any sort of money that they're willing to donate to help Snahal. It might be difficult to support a sponsor child on your own. You know, you might be in school, you might not have a full-time job, and $30 a month can seem like a huge amount. But again, you can split this up with other people. You know, I split it up with my boyfriend, so we each pay $15. The youth group splits it up, so depending on how many kids we have, they can pay $1 a month, they can pay, you know, however much they have and they're willing to give per month. But it's just really, really awesome to be able to support this child and know that you're meeting their needs with their food and their clothing and their shelter, and just to get these updates and see their pictures and see how they're growing and just to be able to be a part of their lives and know that you're helping them and knowing that this is a Christian organization too, and that it's spreading the love of Jesus to these children, I mean, that is really awesome as well. One of my favorite things about Holt International are the updates that they send out because they're very, very poorly translated. So for example, um, the most recent one that my boyfriend and I got for our three-year-old Fian, let me put on my handy dandy glasses because I can't read. Um, let's see, it says that he is lazy to eat, so his weight gains slowly. Another thing that it says is sometimes in learning lessons, the caregiver has to wheedle him to sing and learn, otherwise he does not obey instructions. Fian enjoys going outdoors to play games like riding tricycle, children's slide, or run around with other children along lobby. What I've noticed too is that um, just these sponsor children, the needs that they have. For example, the child that we have through youth group, um, Snahal from India, she's 12 years old, and reading about her just completely and totally breaks my heart. It says she's a found child, which means that she was most likely found on the streets or in the dumpster, because if you don't know, in India, um, there was recently a video on YouTube that talked about how there were millions, what was it, 40 million or 400 million? I don't remember. And what's happening is even though dowries are illegal, so basically it's illegal to pay the husband's family to marry your daughter, it's still happening anyway. And what's happening is that families don't want to have daughters because they don't want to give their money away to other families because maybe they can't afford it. And so what's happening is that when mothers find out that they're having daughters, they will kill these children. Or if they have these children, they'll put them in, you know, trash cans and believe them. So whenever I saw that video, it took this whole sponsorship thing with Snahal to a completely different level because it was just like, holy cow, when it says she's a found child, does that mean that she was abandoned because she was a girl? It also talks about how she has this disease where her muscles are extremely weak and her joints are constantly in pain. And it also talks about how she has an unhealing ulcer on her right foot. And it talks about how she's able to write A to Z and the numbers 1 to 20. She's 12 years old and she can only write the numbers 1 to 20. And so it just takes this whole sponsorship thing to a whole new level, you know, realizing what it's like over there in India and how she probably got in this orphanage in the first place and wondering what's going to happen to her whenever she's old enough to live on her own. Will she be able to support herself? There are all sorts of children from all walks of life through Holt International. And, you know, for $30 a month, you can have the sponsor child of your very own. You can receive updates every couple of months, know what kind of medical issues they have, know how they're growing, know what their interests are, read the really poorly translated text that's just absolutely hysterical. If you would like to find out more information about Holt International, just to see if it's right for you, then you can go to holtinternational.org and... 
yeah, I think that's it. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. Ciao. <laughs>